Hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Cloud9 Blessings. I truly hope that each and every one of you is having a beautiful and blessed weekend. I wanted to make this last minute video to give all of you encouragement. Yes, we are in the last moment at the end of days, but we have so much to look forward to, especially with the return of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Jesus said as a sign of his coming and the end of the age, there would be an increase in deception, false Christ who will deceive many. There would be wars and rumors of wars, nation against nation and kingdom against kingdom, famines, pestilences, earthquakes, Christian persecution, apostasy, false prophets and lawlessness, which is causing the love of many to grow cold as we are seeing right now in the last moments at the end of days. Jesus said all of these signs would come like birth pains. As we get closer to his return, things will become more frequent and will become more intense. And as you have noticed, all of these signs are manifesting literally all over the world right now at the same exact time. Let us be encouraged that we are that generation that will experience the return of our Lord and Savior Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And what a beautiful experience that will be to be reunited with him and to be taken home. One important thing that we can do is to encourage one another by sharing the gospel in these last moments of the end of days. As Christians, we must not be afraid to open our mouths and share the gospel. People will not know about Christ by how we live our lives. It is important that we talk and proclaim the good news, just as Jesus did. I assure you that as most will listen to you and will want to accept the Lord, there will be many that will not. We should just continue to pray for them and pray for the world along with our country. With all that is going on in the world right now, we should be praying daily, be praying for those that are lost, be praying for our country, be praying for Israel, be praying for our brothers and sisters in Christ that they are armored with the Bible, as well as pray for our children that we are all prayed up and that we are all um, protected by the precious blood of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. Another thing that I would highly recommend for each and every one of you, as I have mentioned in a previous video, is to leave a left behind letter so that when the rapture does occur, wherever you might be, whether it's in a public place, you're at home, there's a letter that is left for someone to find so that they understand what just took place. I literally have one in my purse at all times. I have one in my closet and I have one in my living room so that whoever finds it is well informed about what just took place with the gospel in there um, and encouraging them to turn their lives over to Christ. I will have all the information with the resources in the description box so that you can go on the website and print out everything and have everything ready. Right now is the time to be prepared. Have you thought about what is gonna happen to your home and your belongings after the rapture? I know that is something that a lot of people haven't thought about and that's another main reason why I wanted to create this video because your home, such as your food and your clothing will be a blessing to others who are left behind in the tribulation. A simple and easy way to get your house prepared is just simply by cleaning it out. Any items that you no longer wear, have them out in your closet so they are easy to find and grab because you know people are gonna need clothes in the winter and the summer. And any documents that you have that are personal information that you don't want to be found, shred them now. If you have an extra first aid kit, that will definitely be something that will be essential during that time. And of course, canned food and things of that sort because there is going to be a lot of hunger during the tribulation. I know that at some point along the way, my video along with other brothers and sisters, YouTube channels here will eventually be taken down. I mean, that is definitely obvious. However, I really wanted to get a lot of these videos and things out early on this channel 
um, by sharing the gospel and sharing my dreams along with other dreams on this channel to bring more people to Christ. And even if the videos are still here after the rapture, which I believe they will to some point, they can also educate those that are left behind on the importance of coming to Christ and accepting him as their Lord and Savior. I have never felt so much of an urgency to share the gospel on this channel as I am seeing so many other brothers and sisters in Christ here on YouTube that are sharing the gospel, sharing beautiful dreams, visions, and things that they want to get out. And that is so great because you definitely see that the Lord is using everybody as a vessel. That is why it is so important, brothers and sisters, that we share the gospel and try to bring as many people as we possibly can to Christ in these last moments. Um, and great ways of that, obviously, as we can see, is there's so many, you know, great YouTubers on YouTube that are sharing the gospel, praise the Lord, and many others who are sharing the gospel in person. But whichever it may be, it is so important because right now is the time prior to the rapture. As we read in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. But they that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Isaiah 40, 31. I truly hope that this video has encouraged you. Please do not grow weary. The Lord is coming soon. He will come within a twinkling of an eye with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. Remember, the dead in Christ shall rise first and those of us who are alive and remain will be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel so that you can continue to get uh, alerts when we come out with new videos and new content. And please share this to any of your family and friends so that they are prepared for what's to come. Thank you so much and God bless.